Hey, this is JT with RMUS, and we're going to be looking at the Fluke SV600 acoustic sensor. Uh, this is a great payload for spot, for leak detection. Uh, and we're going to talk to Dylan Irwin today of Fluke, who's going to explain a little bit about uh, this sensor. So, Dylan, how, how long has this technology been out? Uh, so it's been out for a number of years now, but really just since last October, um, for a few months now, we've had this fixed and with the spot, a semi-fixed option for it. Okay, so about uh, six months. Um, and so it, what do we have here? This, what, what we're seeing in the background here is actually a visual, a visual representation of sound. So we're seeing, we're viewing the web server of the device right now. We're just plugged into the laptop here for demonstration purposes. But on the acoustic camera itself, we've got 64 MEMS microphones with a visible camera right in the center there. Um, what's that? What that is doing is overlaying the sound intensity for all of those microphones on top of that visible feed. And JT mentioned one of the leading applications being leak detection, and we can kind of simulate that here with the uh, ultrasonic signal coming off of my phone. We've got it at 22 kilohertz, and, and you can see. Can't yep, I can't can't hear it either. But putting this out at full volume on my phone, it's picking it up around 65 decibels, and you can see on the spectrogram there on the right, we've got a nice clear signal at that uh, 22 kilohertz. So, in a loud, noisy industrial plant environment, you've got uh, a lot of background noise, especially in those lower frequency bands. And we're getting some background noise here right now too. So this is actually a great demonstration. Yep. So what are we seeing here that, that's kind of showing up on the screen? Is that kind of like a reflective sound? Or? Yeah, so the, with sound, as with you know, light, infrared energy, a lot of things, you're going to have some reflection to deal with, and that's, that's no different here. What, um, what I can say, though, is that a lot of that reflection we're seeing is because there's, there's nothing significantly loud within that frequency band, so the auto-scaling on the device is just showing some random noise bouncing around the room. Okay, so let's say we're looking, um, you know, we're in a plan, it's pretty noisy like it is in here right now. Explain how we're going to kind of tune this uh, technology or, or the, the software itself. I mean, the, this can be used as a fixed mount, and you have some installs already with this. It's also you know, be, going to be put on spot with an auto walk feature to walk around the facility, or it can be done point to point. Um, so how am I going to tune the software to, to notice the, the leaks? Yep, so typically what we see in leak detection is that you've got a frequency of around 35 to 40 kilohertz where it puts out a very strong signal. Um, as far as finding those leaks, you know, you would be setting up your auto walk with spot. You'd have those assets or areas of interest where you anticipate trying to, to find that leak. Position spot, aim the camera in the right direction. Um, you'd be looking along in real time with a, a device that's connected to the SV600, and, and from there, you know, the spot programming takes over. So we'll continue that auto walk, taking a snapshot, an acoustic snapshot at each of those locations. So if I wanted to, let's say we have the auto walk feature, am I going to see this in real time uh, on the app or is this something I'm looking at in post-processing? Yeah, so this is something you'd look at post-processing. Okay. Spot will return back to the docking station, upload those files. Um, there's, there's more on the way as far as some of that uh, analysis to make it a little bit easier for the operator to go through, but yeah, pretty manual okay. process right now. Well, thanks, Dylan. I have one last question. Range, that's a, another issue. So, um, and, and this is something we've been testing here. Even putting the, the sound device uh, behind something, you actually see the sound, and, and it might be uh, being blocked, so you might not be able to see it, but, you know, it's very interesting technology that, you know, you're at least seeing where the, the leak might be and then you can go investigate that, yep. right? So you're, you're, you're honing in on where the, the issue might be. But what is the range if, if you're out in the field? Yeah, so it depends a little bit. You know, the primary factor would be how, how loud the, the sound is or the leak, how intense. Um, but we'd, we'd say around 50 feet, kind of best, best practice rule of thumb um, as far as what you're able to, to reliably detect. Okay, okay. Um, anything else to share? No, absolutely. It's um, appreciate you having us in. It's it's exciting technology. We're having a lot of fun getting out there and, and solving all kinds of problems for customers. And paired up with Spot, it's uh, it's a great tool. Okay, yeah. So uh, this is definitely um, you know very new technology. There'll be more coming, uh, more features available. So uh, let us know if you need any help uh, getting this set up.